All right, so when I bought this Asus motherboard, it had the option to um, add two M.2 SSD drives. I didn't think I was gonna go that route, um, but I did, so I bought another same exact stick as I have in there. Um, this is my laptop running a 4K. These are my, that, that computer is running these monitors. I had to get uh, different cables as well. If you watch my other video, uh, so I can hook up the two bottom monitors. I don't know if it was, I needed another display port cable. I think that's actually what I needed. So it's a little tricky, a little hard to find on this motherboard. I'm gonna break this whole setup down. So I, let's install this thing in case you're thinking about getting the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus with the Wi-Fi. Um, this is a nice feature to have because you're gonna have blazing fast speed and a lot of storage. So uh, let's do this. All right, so the first one was super easy to install. Um, I installed it, you can see it right there. Um, I installed it before I put my video card in. You kind of want to have to do that because unless you have really long skinny fingers, you're just not going to be able to get it in there. Um, but the second one's a little tricky because they have this little heat sink metal over it. Um, I'm guessing they're doing it because the down firing cooling of the video card is right here so it's firing all hot air onto the m.2 ssd drive so this will have a little bit more of a heat sink cooling i'm also was told i'm just trying not to lose the screws they kind of lock in but i just don't want to double check is to remove this little it's kind of like a it's not thermal paste but it's kind of like a thermal sticker or something sorry it wasn't in frame um and that's going to go right in there. So the, the M.2 drive goes in here, clicks down, you're going to screw it down, and then you're going to put that heat sink over after taking the uh, tape off and putting it over. I'm probably not going to show you that because I'm going to be fumbling around with my hands and I'll, all you'll see is this because there's not a whole lot of room. I'm just letting you know that's where you're going to want to do if you get this motherboard um so it's probably best before you put your video card in um if you decide i mean of course this is some a decision that i made because i'm upgrading um i don't know why i just did it just splurged didn't really need it um was gonna go with kind of just external drives but it seems like a cool way to do it it's going to run super fast especially if i gotta edit some 4k video it'll be so blazing fast because there'll be uh you know no bottleneck when it comes to the processor or if you're in the uk the processor <laughs> the video card and most of the time it's storage that holds any video editing back uh, so anyway so let me uh install that and then I'll show you the finished product before I put the cover on, then the finished product with the cover on. Again, guys, it's gonna land. There's all these extra screws here. You're gonna put the chip in there. You gotta find a screw. That's why I always save my motherboard box and keep all the screws in there. Cause you could see in here, they're screwed down. Cause this thing, you kind of slide it in and it kind of pops up and it has to be, has to be held down. I don't know if you, it slides in, it slides in this way, in, the, in the, that part right there. And then you gotta just kind of push it down and screw it down. Again, I'm not gonna have enough room. There's a million tutorials out there for you. I'm just trying to explain to you that if you have this exact motherboard, this is where the other location is. It's, it's working down from the processor, down past the video card, and right underneath the video card right here so you just you'll plug it in this way lay it down on this screw screw it down and then lay this over it again there's really not a whole lot of room to work i don't feel like pulling all the mother cards uh mother 
the mother cards that I don't feel like pulling out the video card from the motherboard and uh, deal with all that because there is plenty of room here I don't have any space here I can totally get in it's just that I don't think I'm gonna have a camera angle with even just if I throw 900 watts of light onto this you're probably still gonna be shadowed so all right let's check it out let's do it all right I'm gonna try to hand held this now this one's going to be facing down just like the one down there, so it's not going to have any logos or anything like that. So it's going to be facing down here. You'll see why, because there's a tooth that fits right in there. Trying to make sure that I get this all in frame, in lighting, all the extra work that I'm doing for you guys. But it's really difficult. And I, yep, no, so it's, it actually wasn't so difficult. So it just slides in. You'll see that there's... Um, a little pin make sure that pin lines up and then you're just going to want to screw this down with you know find a i'm sure your motherboard gives you extra um sc screws i don't know the screw off the top of my head um i mean that's a little over excessive for me to be explaining which screw i have to actually get you but it's pretty much probably some mounting screw that's laying around your motherboard package so let's screw that down all right so the screw that's provided in the case with the motherboard is not long enough so you're going to have to find a little tiny extender that will come with the motherboard so install that and then you can screw it down see sometimes a little bit of a problem nothing ever, nothing ever goes perfect but you just kind of figure things out and i just saved you guys you know five minutes of aggravation you can thank me later all right as you can see the extension worked out perfect just need some length bro and screws down you can see it's nice and sturdy now we're just going to add the, uh, the heat sink plate and then fire it up see if the everything works pretty much everything works so don't even worry about it so once you put that heat sink on get ready and, and blast off before i peel this off i just want to mention that you have to peel this little sticker thing off um, right here so make sure this part is not on it's kind of like a big giant uh, puffy sticker uh, so you're gonna peel that off and then mount it down there and you're good to go just uh, you know you'll see when you go to put the plate back if you had it out the you know it'll just fit right in uh, make sure you kind of line it up with the screws get it in don't over, no snug it up and never never over tighten and that's it looks beautiful so you can see now that's where the second SSD drive is, and the main one is right there. And we'll get plenty of coolant. And this one's kind of get coolant from this plate heatsink. So hopefully you guys like the video again. It was almost impossible for me to actually show you guys. Um, but you guys will understand where it is on the motherboard, obviously. This is working. This is the bottom of the computer. Uh, working its way down. There's the fan. There's the one M.2 SSD video card and then So pretty cool motherboard works really well super fast now. It's gonna be even super fast with four terabytes of uh, M.2 SSD drive. So anyway guys, I hope this helped out if you got any questions drop a comment below um, Hope you guys are all staying safe and I love you all. Peace out.